Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Nirbhay is India's first subsonic cruise missile having cruise speed of 0.7 Mach. The missile can be launched from multiple platforms. It follows a low flight path with cruise altitude of 100 meters and is capable of carrying both conventional and strategic nuclear warheads. It can carry PCV and BCF type of warheads. The missile has a range of 1000 km with overall weight of 1450 kg. The missile has overall length of 7.6 meter and diameter of 520 mm. The missile uses inertial navigation system augmented with GPS. For terminal homing, it can use either RF, EO or IR seeker. The Nirvhar missile program has been successful and it was a technology demonstrator to prove the indigenous cruise missile technology. The development of Nirvhar with Russian NPO Saturn 36 MT engine is complete. To take Nirvhar missile program to next stage, ITCM was started aimed to achieve 100% indigenization. The indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM is a program to develop Nirbhay with indigenous STFE that is a small tower fan engine of 400 kg force thrust class. The ITCM program is planned to be concluded by July 2023. It's going to be technology demonstrator with 100% indigenous content. Post the completion of ITCM, two more spin-off of this program is planned. The first one is long-range land attack cruise missile or LRLSCM for Indian Army and air launch crew missile ALCM for Indian Air Force. As per the latest report, the ITSM missile was test fired from ITI Chandipur in Balasore district today. This trial is important for DRDO as it was powered by STFE Manik engine and upgraded RF seeker. The evaluation of engine performance is still going on while we are recording the video. Earlier, ITCM was tested on 28th October 2022. It was reported that engine developed technical glitches after initial booster phase and the missile system plunged into sea within 30 seconds of the launch. The success of ITCM depends on the performance of STFE engine for which we all are awaiting. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.